coming up on Press This, back by popular demand, I'm finally back in a t-shirt again. <laughs> and I'm in my button down to look at three amazing live chat plugins for WordPress. Hey everybody, welcome to another amazing episode of Press This. I'm your host, Matt. And I'm Dan. Whoa boy, episode 53. Yeah. Today, we're here to talk about live chat plugins. We've had a lot of requests. Yes, this is one of the through. this is one of the first ones that really started coming through quite a bit. Um, support being obviously a huge thing. Oh, before we even get here. Oh yeah. Do not forget. Let's not forget what Press This is. Mm -hmm. Matt, what is Press This? Press This is a great podcast brought to you by... Matt and Dan. <laughs> if you don't know them, you're looking at them. Yeah. Uh, we talk about all kinds of WordPress stuff, WordPress plugins, themes, services, all that stuff. Put them head to head, put some contacts around them and give them back to you. Hopefully you can learn a little bit something about WordPress. Go ahead and subscribe to us. If you like what we do, uh, youtube.com slash locum studio, or just hit the subscribe button mm -hmm. right in the upper right, I think, or no, down below. I don't down know where below. it is. You can also subscribe to us on our website, slocumstudio.com slash subscribe. And we recently announced and added forum support to our website. So obviously it's working here. People are asking for live chat plugins, but to get your voice out even further there, we now have the forums where you can go right on there, create a free account and ask us what you want us to talk about. Good yeah, sounds like a plan. Sounds, uh, like a plan. <laughs> sounds like a plan. Go ahead and uh, subscribe to the forums or join the forums and uh, join the chat over there. Speaking of chatting. Yes. Live chat plugins. Live chat plugins. There's a few out there. Just mm -hmm. a few. Yeah. Or a few thousand. Yeah. Um, there's many solutions out there. We try to wrangle the ones that we know work really right. well with WordPress. Right. Um, but there are some other ones from some major players. Like I, I think we talked about this earlier in the yes, show, like forward, Salesforce yeah. has one. Yeah. Um, user voice is, is one that um, mm -hmm. is, has been used for like capturing feedback. Like, do yep. you like this site? Mm -hmm. How can we improve yeah. that kind of thing? Yeah. Um, and then there are some others, uh, live chat or live person, excuse me, is like the, the typical help desk scenario. I think it yes. works with like a whole related suite of corporate products, but the stuff we're going to look at today, pretty much cut and dry. Yeah. Live chat. Yeah. Little chat box pops up on the website. Visitor gets a chat with you mm -hmm. on the other end. Absolutely. You're on the other end mm -hmm. with your with your G Talk or your uh, instant message app yep. and, and chatting back. Yep. Lots of integration options make it easy for you to get in contact with people, even live while you're working. They have a question, then you need to give them support. Great options here. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess we'll start with the one that we've, we're currently using on our own studio sure. site here, which is Zopum. Is that, did I pronounce that correct at all? I don't Zopum, know. Zopum. Zopum Live Chat, Z O P I M, Live Chat. Mm -hmm. um, it has a hundred. Well, the plugin here on WordPress at least has one hundred fourteen thousand downloads and has four point two out of five star rating. You have a lot more experience with this one than I do, so I was going to have you take it away and yeah, talk a little bit more about it. So, uh, I started using this one uh, when we relaunched or revamped the uh, mm -hmm. the the newer Slocum Studio site. Yeah. Before that, we were using Olark, which we're going to talk about later. Yeah. Um, but this one came through as a recommended plugin from somebody that I interviewed. Uh, on Matt Report, and as you see here, 114,000 downloads. It's a, a lot of downloads yep. for this plugin. Mm -hmm. It's also most of these live chats, they really work by requesting like a single yep. line of JavaScript that yep. you can put in like your header mm -hmm. of your WordPress site. So sure. you don't necessarily need to install the plugin unless they you know make you for like API calls or some kind of like license key yep. thing. Um, but install the plugin works right out of the box. Yes. I love this application because. Not only does it work with my GTalk, mm -hmm. um, and which is phenomenal for me because I don't have to install another, yes. another mm -hmm. uh, chat client like yep. I was doing with Olark. Olark, yep. Um, but little pop-up comes up. It's gray. It's kind of bland. We're on the free version. Mm -hmm. But if we ever upgrade to the pro, we can, we can uh, customize that. But it, it, it's good for now. They recently launched or relaunched so that it works on mobile. Oh, yeah. So people can have chats with us uh, on their mobile devices, right. which is great. But I love the dashboard. It's got graphs and it shows me like how many visits came through the day, mm -hmm. who these visitors are. So from a, any given point in time, I can mm -hmm. log into that dashboard and see who's on our site, yeah. like traversing through the site. Mm -hmm. It gives me all kinds of data. Yeah, it's great. Like what their browser is, yeah. what country they're from, how yeah. long they've been. And the great thing is if you have a chat with somebody, mm -hmm. you can actually leave notes about oh, that cool. chat. <laughs> 
So like we get it all the time. Like people will be looking at our themes, like minimize pro. They're like, oh, does it work with such and such plugin? Yeah, yeah. it does. Okay, great, great. I'm just gonna yeah. take a look around and I'll be back. It's like almost yeah. like walking into an Apple store, right? And yeah. you're like, oh, I'm gonna look around and I'll get back to you if I want to buy something. Yeah. yeah. And then I can leave a note like we talked about minimize pro. Mm -hmm. Even if they come back a month from now, yep. that same person chats yeah. me up. I can see my note from before and say, oh, this person was looking at Minimize Pro. It makes the whole experience very personal yeah. so that, you know, it's it's almost like they never left and it makes them feel special, which is always what you want to do with your customer because right. they are special. Right. So, I mean, I look at it from loads of information, mm -hmm. loads of data, cool yeah. dashboard, gives me all that stuff, historical stuff. It'll email me if somebody leaves a message and I, I wasn't signed in at the time to chat with someone. Um, upgrade to Pro will get me more custom controls yeah. or I can have more people uh, chatting at the same time, sure, um, which is great. Yeah, um, and then you can do things like triggers and stuff like that. Yeah. So I mean, I, I enjoy it. I haven't had any. I haven't run into any issues yeah, with so it. I've, I've, had, I've had nothing but luck using it, um, trying it out with with you folks. And I can also say that they do a much better job with that f that freemium sort of sort of thing uh, than the. We're going to talk later about the, uh, the the flexi talk, and mm -hmm. that doesn't do it as eloquently. But we'll mm -hmm. get there when we get there. Um, I think they give you enough enough to kind of chew on it first mm -hmm. that by the time you're ready to pay money, you're ready to pay money, mm -hmm. which is always exciting. Right. Yep. Um, and now we're going to, I guess, move on to Olark. Sound, yeah. Sound good. Yeah. So, so all our Olark is a little bit more, um, uh, controlled by, by the company Olark. Um, you create an account. It is a free account. You can, uh, pay for more, you can get more operators, things like that. And you, you know, pay a monthly fee for, for that. And it's quite expensive. So this definitely is in that, to that respect with the phone support and things like that, that they have the true like business professional maybe a uh, solution very very simple to use yeah. extraordinarily simple to yeah. use I, I had olark running on my website flawlessly in like i don't even know like two minutes yep. like from from go you yep. know and now you had to install a plugin to do that nope okay just so, a line of code yep so interestingly enough um when i was first researching it and looking at olark and you we used to use it so this might have been a different case when when you were using it mm -hmm. But now the way it works is I went to download it. It only had 6,000 downloads for the plugin and it didn't get a great rating, but the plugin's old. Mm -hmm. And it actually tells you right in the plugin, you install it and it says, don't use this plugin. Nice. So when you go to their website, uh, they give you just a big thing at junk of code. And all you do is you make a text widget. It, it Right in the back end, you know, just create a widget, make a text widget, um, paste the code and, and just save the widget. And that's it. Nice. It works perfectly. Nice. It shows right up. It floats right at the bottom of the footer because you. And in, put it. inside that text widget must be that line of. Yep. Uh, like JavaScript. Yep. No title, just just the line of JavaScript. And then what ends up happening is uh, you save it. You would just put it in your footer, um, widget section, and that's it. Yeah. Cool. What'll happen though, for just as like pro tip. Oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> WordPress pro tip mm -hmm. uh, for anybody who has dealt with widgets before. If you do switch themes, mm -hmm. nine times out. Oh, I shouldn't say nine times out of ten, but there is a risk of losing those widgets. Mm -hmm. They just go to an inactive state. Right. Um, so it's probably best you just take that line of code and throw it in your header or footer okay. uh, of the of the template. Okay. That way it loads that way. Yep. Great. Cool. So you can do um, that as well. So I think what I think what most people will find with this stuff mm -hmm. is hey, it's live chat, right? There's only yeah so many ways you can right. make live chat work. There's, it yep. either works or it doesn't, yep. and it's either intrusive or not. <laughs> yeah. Um, and. I think what, what really sells this stuff is the interface that they deal with yeah. in the back end. And Olark mm -hmm. definitely looks like one that's much more clean and streamlined. It's a very clean interface. Uh, it works really smoothly. I believe it has support for like Gtalk as well. Cool. Um, as you go through the, the website and stuff like that. So you can integrate it there into your Gtalk um, message, iMessage or messages mm -hmm. with Apple devices, mm -hmm. uh, things like that. Yeah. I mean, uh, when I look at the interface of Olark or the dashboard of Olark mm -hmm. versus Zopem, yeah. Zopem is like a like a war room, right? There's like oh, there's line graphs and charts and all sure. this stuff going on. Sure. And you can do like all kinds of like mm -hmm. different things with your graphing. Right. And it's like super analytical and it could be overwhelming right. to some. Right. Where Olark definitely looks more clean right. and like Gmail-ish. Right. right. And, you know, the and, back end. And I think that the, the notes thing is a really, really neat feature with, with Zopem or Zopem. Yep. But I also think, do you wonder, do you wonder if maybe it's overkill or redundant to have like analytics on your that's on a great your, on your live chat plugin when you have your Google Analytics plugin and maybe your SEO plugin has analytics built in and all these other things are giving you analytics do you think it's overkill or do you think do, do you, like does it does it hurt the overall experience of using it does it make it more difficult to navigate or is it just a thing that you don't have to use it could be overwhelming to somebody who's kind of new to this space um, but 
it's definitely useful as a snapshot because if you're using this as a sales tool mm -hmm. or what probably most people do as a support tool, right? It's a great way to just get a quick glimpse mm -hmm. of, wow, the stats really went up today. Yeah. Why is that? Why did we get so many visits today? Well, mm -hmm. the marketing guy sent out an email campaign. Right. Oh, that's why. You know, then then you get to kind of correlate that stuff. Right. Um, so I do think like the analytics. Oh, not so much, but. What, what, it, what it might be good for on the flip side, the sales thing, if you do push out some kind of campaign yeah. mm -hmm. to be able to see the live visits so right. you know that like, okay, that, that mail true. blast I just sent out, the there are like okay. 25 people on this site right now. Okay. Can we convert these people sure. by chatting with them real oh, quick? Oh, sure. Okay. You know, sure. that kind of thing. I gotcha. Um, that's also important too because the, when, I, when I said intrusive or non-intrusive, yes. some of these, like I know with Zopam, you can configure it to pop up right away with a default canned message. Welcome to our website. Or just let it sit there and kind of quietly sit at the bottom and wait for somebody to engage you. Mm -hmm. Yep. Right. So it all depends on what your product is, what you do. Mm -hmm. Do you want to just be right up right. in their face yeah. and just immediately talk to them? Yeah. Um, that kind of thing. Yeah. I think the customization is what sort of pushes that over the edge in that sense from a lark or something like that. Right. Flexi talk. <clears throat> Live chat widget. 32,000 downloads. 4.9 out of 5 stars. So really fantastic rating. Um, right off the bat, uh, the first note I have here is ugly interface <laughs> outside of WordPress. Don't mess with Dan yeah. and his design. Okay? No, this, no, no. This guy is fueled by Apple design yeah. products. So yeah. any kind of like, you know, yeah. anything, he, yeah. he'll, he'll bash it. Yeah. Well, then, then if that's the case, then FlexiTalk is the 5C of this discussion, if you ask me. <laughs> um, but when I, when I logged into it, I felt like I was managing a server the way it was designed. Very, very busy, um, sort of very, very small text, mm -hmm. kind of computery sort of look to it, mm -hmm. right? Like a developer made it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Go figure. Mm -hmm. And then um, even when you install FlexiTalk, uh, the plugin, the live chat widget um, plugin to WordPress, uh, and you use that, it is one of those Magic Members-esque sort of interface within an interface things. Mm -hmm. uh, if you folks have been watching the show for a while, that's what we always come back to. Uh, basically, it doesn't look like WordPress at all. It's its own thing. It's still accessed within WordPress, but it doesn't look like WordPress at all. Mm -hmm. um, on the flip side, uh, or on the counter to Zopam here, they really don't give you much out of the gate with FlexiTalk. It's free, mm -hmm. and you can pay more. Mm -hmm. uh, it's $4.50 a month for the solo version of it, which is just for one domain uh, use. But basically, that's going to give you all of your customization options as far as colors, themes, the ability to have it floating. Like, like everything that would be sort of like an, just sort of something given to you by the other free plugins we talked about are all kind of managed separately of flexi talk you have to pay for that subscription for it which is a little rough um to activate features that were otherwise free in like a zopam yeah yeah i mean i definitely hear what you're saying about mm -hmm. the um mm -hmm. about the interface yeah it's definitely like that corporate like it's funny that this is here because recently i was doing a live chat with bank of america mm -hmm. and it just reminded me of that like yeah. corporate java ri driven yeah you know i totally get it and i hate to bash people on not that we're bashing, but I hate to, to give criticism on on that side of things. Mm -hmm. But design is super important mm -hmm. because it's not just the design; it's it's how you interface. It's the user interface. Well, it's the UX. Right? So so yeah. So yeah. it's the experience and the interface. Yeah. I I really liked using this because it looked great. Mm -hmm. It, you know, I could clearly see like even like looking at it now, like even on their own site, name, email, message is in like a very light gray in the white box. So yeah. it's not yeah. like super apparent. It's right. fine for people like you and I yeah, who, yeah, yeah. who can like We're understand like, this stuff. Get me right on here, yeah. Right, but if, if you're actually trying to engage with, I don't know, if you're the pizza shop yeah. and you're trying to get people to order pizza from mm -hmm. you and, and older people come into the site, they're not used to chatting live and they're going to be like, what is this? Yeah. Is this an ad popping up? Yeah, like, exactly. Those are things you have exactly. to kind of consider. Um, so yeah, a couple couple uh, couple knocks on the design. I, I totally get it. Totally agree. So that was, that was sort of my take there. It's very, very customizable. Again, it's open, so you can use it with... Like all any any sort of I think it was XXMP yeah yeah um, client uh, that exists Jabber yeah Jabber talk Jabber talk uh, yeah so anyway that's three plugins of live yeah. chat uh, we hope these help if you have others that you want us to take a look at and get a little bit of feedback before you go and install them shoot us a message yeah. uh, in the notes here or excuse me in the comments here in YouTube there will also be a forum mm -hmm. uh, link where we'll uh, put the episode there yeah. and you can also engage in a greater discussion there and lord knows there will be plenty of those because there's thousands of these live chat plugins my yeah. god yeah <laughs> uh i i love the uh i'm a fan of his open yep i mean i i, I think I, i'm a fan of it as well um just from how eloquently it works on our website um olark's a good choice if you want something super simple um potentially in the case of the pizza shop 
just a very, very quick chat interface. There really isn't much else beyond that. Just a way to reach out to people. I need to reach you for something and I want to respond quickly. Exactly. Uh, so there you have it. Uh, again, let us know in the comments. Let us know what else you want us to review uh, on Press This and we'll get a chance to uh, throw that into the show. SilicumStudio.com slash forums slash subscribe. Join the mailing mm -hmm. list, all that fun stuff. Uh, and of course, as always, the show is brought to you by Minimize Pro, mm -hmm. one of our brand new responsive blogging themes. Check it out. You can get a free version in the repo. Uh, and if you like it and you want more colors and more features and support from us, Minimize Pro is 59 bucks. Not bad. Uh, all right. Till next time. Thanks, guys. Thanks.